Hello people of the world, it's Factuality here. We're back on the Nimbuscraft server playing some natural magic and I'm currently standing inside a cloud. So we're gonna just jump on out of here and if I'm lucky, land in the tower. Welcome back down to earth. So this episode we're gonna carry on with the Ars Magica mod. Mod? I always say mob when I mean to say mod. Uh, we're going to carry on with that. Uh, we're going to hook up our Ethereum network, which is what we were working on last time by creating the obelisks with the Dark Aurum and the crystal -y thing, and put them into some mana batteries so that we can start making some machines. Uh, some really cool stuff coming up, so I'm excited to get into it. Okay, so we're back over here at the castle. Um, I have something to show you before we get started with the ethereum network and here it is here this is larry larry's my pet fire dragon he's the thing that i said i was working on last time that a couple of people have already got on the server he is supposed to be up in here but larry likes to move around so um at some point we're gonna have to just lock him in here which seems a little bit cruel but this dude just flies around look anytime i'm flying Especially if I'm dropping down, Larry gets really excited. But uh, Larry was a lot smaller when he first went into this room, and he's not now. And he's also kind of annoying in there. So we'll see what happens to Larry. If you don't see Larry again, this is why. That was really weird. Yeah. It's because Larry has a bit of a habit of just uh, picking me up and making me his dragon rider, which would be cool if it happened when I wanted it to. Anyway, we have ourselves these things. The Celestial Prism here, and the Dark Aurum down over there. And we also have our Obelisk, which you may have noticed is missing. It's not in here anymore. That was only going to be temporary anyway, I guess. It is going to be now... Whack my head on the roof, try that again. It is going to be in here. In fact, it is in here. I've already put it in here. So this is going to be a little bit of a room with the... What do we call this thing? Calefactor. With the Calefactor in it, the Calefactor is the one that does all of the smelting for me now or will be very soon and gives me Vintium dust on the side now I'm gonna see if I can automate this a little bit I'm not really sure that's probably something that I'll look at after for now it's just gonna be a thing that I do but it needs all three types of Ethereum going into it in order for me to be able to double the amount of results that I get from the ores in here and I don't think it really affects the rate at which you get the Vintium dust. Now Ethereum can apparently only travel 10 blocks unaided so these just make that go a little bit further. Each one of these is kind of like a, a power line or a repeater I guess and it's pretty easy to make it's a little bit of chimerite and a little bit of stone makes one of these so we're gonna put these down here and come on over to the dark aurum and I'm probably not going to do this on camera because I'm going to need to measure it out to make sure I'm getting this right but essentially I want to bring this all the way into the tower we might even just uh, hide them somewhere up here the mana batteries that is and then disperse them from there I think you can have as many different types of Ethereum going through these as you like. So if I have my three different mana batteries up in here for my three different types of Ethereum, I can then link them to more conduits, and those conduits can come over into the room that we made down here, and into the Calefactor, and use less of the Hi Larry. Bye Larry. Use less of the conduits to do so. So I'm just going to start measuring that out and we will come back later. I don't know if I showed you this thing working by the way. This is so cool. Yes! Right on cue. 
Okay, so zombie got too close. Zombie dies in a great uh, dismembering mess. It's fantastic. Actually, while I think about it, I also have a new spell to show you guys. This is just a little thing I put together. It's got a bit of lightning, a bit of fire, and a bit of frost damage in a beam formation. And it's got a whole bunch of damage modifiers. So if we come over to Mr. Skeleton... Okay, we'll leave Mr. Skeleton alone. He's doing some weird things. Um, let's find ourselves this guy. Come on over here, Gus. Yeah, Gus didn't really stand a chance. We never really got to know him. Basically, this thing just shreds. Um, the downside is it uses a lot of mana, so it's not something you can really sustain, and it's not good for groups of mobs like this it's really if you've got one enemy and you really want to thrash him then we can use the beam which I have called mana beam because it uses so much mana okay progress we have our little ethereum conduits here they are running down the side of the hill here up and back along here and all the way up into the building here and I've just chucked the batteries in over here for now uh, and you can see this one here is getting our dark ethereum this one's getting the light ethereum from up on the roof and this one here is getting the neutral ethereum and loud noises and so what's happening is these are really quite easy they just need to go down within 10 blocks of each other you don't need to link them up with the crystal staff or anything like that you just have them near enough that they can make a path if they can make a path then you just go and click on like your dark aurum over here come and click on the battery over here and if it can find a way to get the energy to it it'll do it so now that we've done that we can take that and we want to link it up to the Calefactor and then we need to do the same for that one to the Calefactor and we should find we are ready to go so if I have my Ventium dust on me sorry Ventium ore there we go chuck that in there and as it comes through we should now that we're getting all three types of energy be getting two each time but we're not not entirely sure why not I do like the way that this works but oh look bonus Vintium dust that is great but I still want to know why it's not giving me two of each hold one minute and I will see what it's all about okay I think I figured it out I may have disrupted the flow of energy into this when I connected the obelisk here up to the battery on the other side of the wall over here so now if we put a dust in and wait for it all to smelt up we should see two come down here fingers are crossed yes all right we have a thing I wonder if it works on things like cobblestone let's just see okay it does actually smelt it so that's a good thing because I was wondering whether it just did ores or it does the whole lot and if we watch now wow two stones so it basically doubles and I can get Vintium dust out of that that is a really really easy thing to do wow this thing is powerful man ah so much stuff is gonna happen with this I might need to make more than one and I have a way that I can automate this too there is actually automation in Ars Magica there's things called flickers and I've actually set up up on the roof here I'm still buzzing about this Califactor, that thing's awesome. This Flicker Lure. Now the Flicker Lure, you need to have them in a few different places, and if we have a quick look at the Arcane Compendium, it basically tells us a little bit about these Flickers. And what they are is they are 
lesser elementals that come through to our world and basically we stick flicker lures in different places and we give them a bit of ethereum and they bring the flickers through into this world and then we can catch those flickers and we can use them to uh, create particular types of automation so I can do things like item transferal I can do breeding I can do uh, killing mobs and all sorts of stuff with these flickers so that's now that I've got this set up probably gonna be the next thing we do okay so I have a new spell it's a modification of the standard dig spell that I had so this one here which creates a nice little hole in things has just had a bit of an upgrade and that's not going to help you see it there we go so now it digs in a 3x3 three three and I can just make a lot of noise I'm really sorry about that I don't know if you can hear anything over top of that but um, I can do the things make really big holes really quickly actually there's something else I wanted to show you guys over here at the mage tower and that is that our little meteor shield over here has been working absolutely over time to keep this place safe and as a result it's picked up a bit of interesting stuff there's some ice in here uh, there's Neckerite chips which can make different types of uh, completely fireproof armor I think it is Freezerite crystals which uh, gives me an idea which we'll go into in a second there's cooked fish now the cooked fish I think comes from the same meteor that has these in it so Comet Kitties are part of the Falling Meteors mod and they're quite cool. I think we're just going to spawn one in a room somewhere. Down in here. Well, maybe down in here. <laughs> I love his little helmet. Oh, he runs away from me. Um, wait, did I take the fish? No. Let's get the fish and see if we can make this guy our friend. I know you can breed them. So if we have a couple, which we do then we should be able to make them really friendly and have a bunch of really weird space cats I wonder who doesn't like cats there could be a prank brewing where'd he go? did he board his space rocket again? No, come back, Meteor Kitty. Aha! No, he's still running away. Come back. Eat the fish, man. Eat the fish! Now, I was checking out my Meteorite Shield back at the Mage Tower before, and I had in it some Freezerite, and that helps me make this thing. So, this Freezer is all about turning things into I think I need to do that um, it's about freezing things believe it or not but one of the cool things you can do with this is actually freeze blocks and it turns them into slippery blocks and what's really cool about that is that they look like normal blocks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze up all of this redwood and you can see it down here it says one time slippery I'm going to make it four times slippery and it's going to be like walking on ice but really really slippery ice and once I've done that I'll show you exactly where I'm going to put it okay so we're over at Nico's place now um, he lives inside of a giant redwood and that's why I have these redwood blocks or slippery redwood now I've already dug out the bit of floor that is going to be replaced and we're just going to slot these in here and if we do the whole lot I have to be really careful because I haven't got any spares and you don't get them back when you break them alright how slippery is this floor? Oh. <laughs> 
That is going to confuse the heck out of him for at least a little bit. As soon as you walk in, you just slide. It's That's great. I love it. Let's see how long it takes him to figure that one out. If you haven't seen any of Nico's videos, by the way, it's definitely worth doing. He, um, he knows a lot about the modded stuff, and he gets into it quite a bit, so... Um, he has done this little portal over here to the Twilight Forest, which, ah, that's not that one, to Erebus. Erebus is a totally different place, it's another dimension, and he's got another one around here somewhere that takes us to the Twilight Forest. Uh, so he's done quite a bit of exploring, he's also really, really good with these bees, which, um, I have a bit of another idea for a prank but I don't want to ruin it now because I do need some help but um, he's really good with these bees he's been teaching me a fair bit through his videos about how these bees work and he's just started or he's working on the witchery mod as well so if you want to have a bit of a look at that check his videos out I'll try and put a link in the description if I remember and let's see if we can as soon as he gets a video up that has a reaction to this, I'll link that to this video as well. But, uh, yeah, that'll do for now. I love this Dark Aurum. Just pull in a bunch of mobs. And watch the carnage. Bye!